Nivaka is asking, what's the funniest apologetic arguments you've heard for moral teachings from any religion? Mm, this is interesting. It wasn't mm. for any specific. I well, this is the first thing that comes to mind just because of the primacy effect. But you know, um, the debate that apostate prophet did just did with Doctor Majid, like his um, apologetics weren't for any specific moral teaching from a religion. Although he did have some interesting, kind of funny apologetics for the age of Aisha and. The killing of apostates because i was just like what um i think i found that funny just when someone is like so obviously doing circular reasoning and you can't like get that point across and you can't communicate it to them um i think that's kind of funny it's also very frustrating really but that that that's circular reasoning but then that, what you just said there, that's also circular reasoning. But then this one is also, you're doing it again. <laughs> like, what do you think? I think that, um, I don't remember which one is the funniest, but from the recent most ridiculous ones was the Daniel Heiraju um, excuse for slavery because they, we have nukes now and we have drones now. And apparently Muhammad had to have uh, sex with his sex slaves without their consent because at least we didn't have nukes back then so that was the weirdest excuse for sex slavery i've ever heard of but apparently daniel <laughs> had a who i used to US, used to think was smarter and had better excuses for the immoral teachings of islam apparently that's his excuse for sex slavery oh the botswana question really got me yeah, yeah his yeah, botswana yeah. question got me it wasn't an apologetic argument. It was supposed to be a criticism or, uh, yeah, like delegitimizing question that's critical of liberalism or modernity and human rights. But it was just the most blatant example and bald faced example of cherry picking I've seen in a long time. <laughs> And to act like it was like, oh my God, this is shaking the tenets of the liberal world. <laughs> like <laughs> the Botswana question, pack it up, boys. We're done. <laughs> yeah, guys, um, go watch my review of that debate. Uh, just search for yeah. ex-Muslim versus Muslim de uh, uh, debate review, and then Harris Sultan versus Daniel Hegachu. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.